working with local military anti-drug forces, a search and destroy mission on cocaine labs. Lieutenant Dobbs and I have been training local pilots and Cobras for their own strike forces against the cartel. Lead, this is Snake 2, entering Sector 4079. Roger, advise Calibre Ops of our position. Wilco, Dobbs. How's the view up front, buddy? I'm not crazy about it, man. I'll be glad when we get out of this canyon. I was flying wing that day with Captain Tejada. Lieutenant Dobbs, the other American, was with Captain Mendez, the flight leader in the front Cobra. Between the two Cobras was a Black Hawk helicopter with a support team of American and South American DEA agents. It was our fourth mission as a team, and we'd worked well together. We were entering a sector we'd never been before. It was rumored among the locals that this was an area of offensive cartel activity. But we were used to such rumors. We were five miles from the objective when we saw the Scorpion attack helicopter. began evasive action, but the Scorpion was too fast, heavily armed and hard to find. The pilot was better than anyone I'd ever seen before. I tried to pull the Scorpion away from the Black Hawk, but to no use. It was a cold killer. Trolls put her in a dive and crossed over the top of the scorpion before he could fire. And I made it out of the area. He said the cartel was up to something. I'm not blaming anybody. Last time I looked, we were all on the same side. We have some decisions to make. Thank you, Mr. Preston. That will be all. May I say something, sir? Go ahead. I volunteered to fly with these local anti-drug forces, sir. And I watched the men in those choppers put their lives on the line for their families and their country every day. The cartel has them outpaid, outmanned, and outgunned. But knowing that, they still went out. They didn't stand a chance. They're heroes, and they should be avenged. It's a little more complicated than that. I beg your pardon, sir, but I think it's very simple. They killed our people, and they killed our friends. Their drugs kill Americans every day. It's a war, and it's our duty to fight. Thank you, Mr. Preston. You're excused. Gentlemen, does anyone else in this room feel as frustrated as I do? We all do, Oscar, but it's a complex problem. I disagree. We have an executive mandate to stop the drug cartel, and we're sitting on our hands. That pilot out there has the clearest take on this mess. We are at war, and we deal with the problem as such. So what are we going to do? Go back to the same sort of operation? Sir, the DEA is fighting a war with its hands tied, and we're losing it. Not anymore. General Olcott, I want the Army to ready a task force immediately. I want that operation taken out. Yes, sir. My Apache crews are trained for ground support, General. They're just not up to speed on air-to-air -air combat. If this enemy helicopter is half as good as we hear, I'm gonna need help to bring him down. Anything you want. Well, I need as much information as I can get on this operation. Who is this enemy pilot, and what's his support like? And I've got to have Brad Little and his team. They're down at Fort Rucker right now training rookies. I want them at Fort Mitchell as soon as possible. This is a need-to-know operation. All reports eyes only to me. And that Preston. He impressed them in there. See if you can keep him in the mix. Will do, General. Preston? Yes, sir. You've seen this bogey work. Can the Apache stand up to it? It is the only aircraft that will, sir. How soon do you qualify in the bird? I've completed the academics, and I'm scheduled to start hands-on as soon as I get back to Fort Mitchell. Well, General Alcock wants you in this mission. Now, I believe in you, son. Can you handle it? You can count on me, sir. Please, 
Take a seat. Gentlemen, we've all got a lot to do today, so I'll make this brief. It's my honor to introduce our new combat instructor pilot, Chief Warrant Officer Brad Little. He's here to bring us up to speed on air combat maneuvers. Mr. Little? You men know all there is to know about air to ground technique. Starting right now, you have a new objective in your lives. And this new objective is to become masters of air to air combat tactics. When we have mastered these tactics, we will use them to seek out and confront the forces of evil and kill them dead or in hell. We're lucky men. We're in the United States Army and we face the opportunity of a lifetime. I do not expect you to waste or throw away or neglect this opportunity. I expect you to improve every shining minute of my time by becoming the best air to air helicopter pilots in the whole wide world. You will fight as teams of gunners and pilots, each more dependent on the other than they were their own mama. Sir. Our mission has the highest national priority. I can't stress that enough. We're going against an enemy who's defending his own territory. And we've got to get up to speed immediately. The clock is running, folks. And it's running fast. Carry on. Looks like a fine group of aviators, sir. They are that, Brad. That kid Preston showed extraordinary courage in South America. I want you to pay special attention to him. It's beautiful in an ugly kind of way. Somebody called it a flying race car with guns, but that's bullshit. It's not that simple. Here. Put your hands here, here, and there. Put your feet here, 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 and here, and here. Do not step here or there. That's it. Crawl right on in there, lad. Riding in the gunner seat of this aircraft at 150 knots through the treetops is like having your ass strapped to the nose of a bullet. Basically, you will be flying like a bat out of hell. You will be shooting at the enemy. You will be jinking around, dodging bullets and missiles and rocks and arrows and spears and ducks and geese. Sounds like a full-time job. Boy, you're going to be busy as a three-peckered goat. So let's get to it. You really get into this, don't you, sir? I love it to death. I can tell. Evan, here we come. So what do we do first? Gee, is this a quiz, sir? Your whole life's a quiz, young man. Now you tell me the first order of business, hotshot. Program the inertial nav systems, enter the laser codes, punch in target and Doppler coordinates, initialize weapon systems, and optimize FLIR sensors. Okay, perfect. Well done. Now let's see if the damn thing will start. things that are far away to blow up. Your new trick is to move like a thief, keep your nose down, then come out of nowhere and blow your enemy to pieces. <laughs> Sound like fun? Yeah. Good. Sir? Yeah. 
That was totally cool. <laughs> I'd marry that thing. You're good at pilot. They say you are. I'll give away the bride. Buzzer. I want you to meet Jake Preston. He's part of the Apache Task Force. This is Scott Buzz, my chief scout IP, and Billy Guthrie, his co-pilot. Billy Lee Guthrie. I think I've heard of you. How you doing? I do fine. How about a drink this evening? Uh, Jake, not a chance. Not a chance. How much flight time do you want, Buzzard? 2.3. What? 2.3, sir. 2.3. You have a problem with women in the Army, Preston? Not with all of them, sir. Just that one. I'll see you at 0700. Cartel has made the decision to go on the offensive and expand their operation into neighboring countries. They've brought in Cuban arms, Cuban advisory team, and have hired this man, Eric Stoller, a crack helicopter attack pilot and international mercenary to ride shotgun on their missions. He received his terrorist training in Europe and North Korea. Now he sells his expertise to the highest bidder. In this tape, our DEA team thought they had Stoller cornered, but it was a setup. Stoller acted as a decoy and drew them in. There's a booby trap bomb waiting for those men. Watch for the box at the bottom of the screen. Everyone in Washington knows what we're up against. This guy is a killer. We need to support the DEA, and that means dealing with Stola air to air. Sir, I'd like to be considered for the Apache Task Force, sir. Forget about it, Brad. I need you here. There's nobody better in the Apache than I am, sir. I agree. That's why it's your job to convey that knowledge and experience to these young pilots. <sighs> Time comes to use the experience. I want to fly this mission, sir. Noted. Is Janet joining you? Yes, sir. She and the children arrive this afternoon. And you want to fly away and get shot at? Affirmative. Yes, sir. Brad, we can't afford to lose you. Just wondering. I don't want to drink. Oh, honey, it's your birthday. Let's have a little fun. I'm too old to have fun. I'm 40 years old and I want to go home. At ease, little. Come on. My birthday, remember we said everybody in the whole family gets to do what they want to do on their birthday, except for Dad. <laughs> How about that drink now? Interested? Uh, <laughs> no, thanks. For he's the jolly girl. Stairway, turn right. At the first platform, enter the big black box, and make ready for war. You want some strawberry gum breaker? Oh, no thanks. Little? How about you? Strawberry gum? No. It's delicious. Come on, Jake. Gentlemen, this simulator will do anything the Apache will do. It will also do anything your enemy will do. Good, because I have a pocket full of quarters. Let's go play. Sergeant, start up X-ray and crank it. Yes, sir. Boys, the first program is called X-ray. We're going to start slow. All babies need to crawl before they walk. All right, all systems are up. The pilot has the controls. Proceed along route blue. Remember, the name of the game is surprise, gentlemen. Stay low. Use the terrain for cover. Then pop up and nail your targets. There is a town on the other side of those mountains. Locate same and recon for targets. Hang in there, Breaker. Let's see what this baby can do. 
Looks like a quiet Sunday afternoon to me. That's a negative. We dialed in 9 a.m. Monday morning and we're open for business. Heads up, Mad Turtle on your 11. Missile laser locked in. Bye bye. <laughs> Good shooting break. Hey, you're talking to a legend. World of pigeons out there. I hunt them, you shoot them. How are we doing, sir? Well, you're looking good, gentlemen. We'll take it up a notch. Resume your original heading and proceed up the riverbed. Higgins, leave it up the Yankee program. Schedule on calls for x-ray, sir. I'm changing the schedule, Higgins. Yes, sir. All right. Check out the highway on your 3 o'clock for suspected enemy ground threat. I am the greatest. Go, Jake, go! All right. Free game. I am the greatest. That pilot's good. Yes, he's good. He's very, very, very good. Ooh, I've played him before, but nothing like this. All right, so much for the warm-up, gentlemen. You now have air-to-air -air threat in your sector. I am the greatest. I am the greatest. Uh, Sergeant Craig, what's up, Zula? Pardon, sir. Zula's for experts, sir. Holy exercise. All these boys are experts, Higgins. If you keep on making me tell you things twice, I'm going to have you washing windshields. We're back in bogey land, boys. Watch the wires or french fries. Nice view on your dues, Preston. Fast moves coming up quick. Oh, damn. Nose coming up. Muscles on them. Smoke one fast mover. Shoot him, blast him, nab him, grab him, shake him, bake him, cook him, clean him, pose him, boil him, kick him, nab him, twist him, run him. Oh, God, bye-bye! It's very impressive, gentlemen. Let's see how well you fly with your monocles down. I need to know if we can pump all the information eight computers will hold through your eyes and into your little bird frames. It's a bit different. This is unbelievable. Let's go get him, Jake. Working. Working. Come around. Come on, Jake, what's wrong? Can't focus. Lock him now. Almost. Almost. There. Yeah, we got him. Wax him. Come on. Watch those wires, kid. Wax him now. God damn it. It's okay, Jake. Well, don't worry about it, boys. It's only a video game. None of this is real. It's just a big toy the Army built for your personal amusement. While you're having so much fun, try to make believe they just notified you next to camp. Get out of there. I think we're pushing these guys a little too hard, sir. Oh, I don't know about you, Higgins, but I am. Sharon? If you can get it to click, you know what I mean? Hey! Yeah, if you can get it to click. You know where Billy is? Like that. How do I know? She wants to see you. You don't know, so why don't you tell me where she is, and I'll go over there and give her the choice. The laundromat. Laundromat. Well, that's just Jim Dandy. Breaker? Yeah, I'll see you later, Jake. What are you doing here? I owe you a congratulations. You got what you wanted. You got your wings. A mere two years of my life. A D-model maintenance test pilot, no less. I told you I'd do it. Yep. So, was it worth the price? What price? Us. Remember? Yeah, I remember. That's all behind us now. The main thing is that we're here together, we're seeing each other every day, and you look really sexy in that skirt, which is why I think we should give it another chance. I don't think so, Jake. Why not? Because I, I don't want to set myself up for that again. Can't we at least be friends? Yeah. We can just be best of friends. Good. Mm. 
are you doing? A kiss. It's a tradition for friends to still bargain with a kiss. <laughs> the tradition is a handshake. <laughs> you can't resist me. <laughs> <laughs> I can try. Aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> you keep them. sees the other first is the winner. Two, whoever gets seen first is toast. Name of the game here, gentlemen, is surprise. The land mass behind which you can hide is your friend. The open sky in which you cannot hide is your enemy. If you remember anything at all, remember this. Once a helicopter battle has been engaged, somebody is going to die. You boys do not have the speed to run from a fight. When you engage, you must bring the nose of your aircraft to bear on the bogey. Unmasking, pop-ups, pedal turns, hovers, sideward flight can all be combined to affect your nose on position. Put your weapon system on the target. The optimum attack position is? Above and behind on a six o'clock. Good. The optimum kill shot is? Down through the rotor blades. Good. Some of you boys have been paying attention. I thought you were all sitting there dreaming about chasing women. Get out of here. Dismissed. Have fun, stay out of trouble. Chain, chain, chain. What kind of women do you think come here? I don't know, strippers, scandalous women, you know, the kind that you like, Gregor. And you too, Jake. Because there's Billy. Excuse me. Hey. Back off, Slick. I just want to dance with the lady, partner. Well, get in line, friend. While the music's playing, she's mine. And when it stops, I'll let her go. Now beat it before I whip your ass. You wouldn't get between a man and his fiancée, would you? Oh, Jay. Come on, boy, take your best shot. Stay away from me, Jake. Hey, scaredy cat, I just wanted to dance with you. I'm not a piece of steak for you two to fight over. Understand? We don't go out together anymore, remember? That's going to change. It didn't work before, and it's going to work now? <laughs> too many things haven't changed. Like what? Like that Neanderthal crap back there? Uh, me man, you woman. I am not Jane of the Jungle. <laughs> I thought it was kind of cavalier myself. Jake, I think you want me to stay home and have babies and cook. Well, I, I mean, I did. Well, what's wrong with babies and cooking, Billy? I, I mean, it's a tradition. My mother did that. Your mother didn't fly helicopters. <laughs> Too many things haven't changed. You're right, Billy Lee. She never flew helicopters. What else hasn't changed? We fight all the time. We always make up. Because I always wanted to. 
You still care about me, don't you? I want you to stop this. I'm going. I have a low-level flight test at 0500. Don't you? Oh, Jake, so what if I do? You think it changes anything? Intelligence reports the site will be fully functional within a few days. It has already become the headquarters for the operation. The Strip definitely would support an attack force, large transports, even fighter aircraft. The other reason for accelerating our plan is this information. These were taken just a few days ago. All the major players in the cartel have suddenly disappeared. Intelligence believes that they will show up at this airstrip. Your Apaches had better be ready to go at short notice. Will do, General. The crew and the team assignments are... President Breaker with Guthrie, Davis and Proctor go with me, and Revis and Tippett with Wade. Okay, listen up, gun bunnies. Straight from the buzz man. Just like Indian scouts in the old days, we're the modern day equivalent. Your eyes and your ears. The folks who stick their necks out to see what's out there, so you can shoot it down and be the heroes. Preston, get your brains out of your pants. As forward observer, I can find a target and get coordinates to you fast. Let's talk about us instead. No, this is important, Jake. To prevent radio detection, we're set up with ATHS direct to your video display. I've got a display of your tail that is just mind-boggling. Think of us scouts as extensions of your own sight in the air. Hmm, I think I like that. You only have eyes for me. <laughs> you will need reconnaissance going into battle, Jake. For example, with our laser designator, we can paint your target while you're hidden in some canyon, so you can nail it from cover without ever being seen. I'd love to nail it. In an emergency, it's possible to distract the adversary or temporarily blind him with the laser. Watch this, Breaker. Let's get serious. Jake, where are you? I remember you like me on top. Jake, you've still got your brains in your cockpit. That's because it's easier to fly that way, honey. Loaded and ready to fire. Jake, we've both been there before when those guns just didn't go off. Don't worry about that, baby. <laughs> so how about that drink tonight? <laughs> Man, you never let up, do you? Jake, let's get hold of ourselves. I've got a hold of myself. Good, then you don't need me. Have fun with yourselves, boys. Really? Where'd she go? You try and catch me, Jake. That darn girl disappeared, Breaker. Yeah, it looks like she's got you, buddy. She sure does, Breaker. She sure does. I see you took Preston and his gunner up to Zulu. Oh, yeah, why not? Had a hell of a score. He's a hell of a pilot. Sir, has a decision been reached on my request to join the task force? Brad, I'm sorry. You're too important to this program, and combat's a young man's game. I'm the best you've got. It wasn't easy for me either, partner. Now give it up. Hi. Hi there. Hey, you want to go a couple rounds? No. No thanks. No? How about you, Breaker? You box? Uh, no, sir. That kind of stuff scares me. More into cooking and cleaning. <laughs> hey, you're, uh, you're dropping your right there with your jab. You leave yourself wide open for the counter. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, wide open. That's the way I see it. And you were talking to the former light heavyweight champion of Southeastern Arizona State University in 1969. Intramural. You're in a world of trouble now, Preston. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Okay, come on. A couple of rounds. Show me those keenly honed reflexes, young man. I want to see those cat-like moves. Mm-hmm.
slept in this morning, huh? Mm-hmm. Honey. <laughs> what happened? Nothing. My back's a little sore. No, but your face. Mm -hmm. What'd you do to your eye? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I hit it. With what? A two by four? No. No, I'm boxing a little down at the gym. Who with? Mike Tyson? Ha <laughs> ha ha. How much time do I have? Uh, ten minutes. You want some cereal? No, no. I'll get something later. Okay. Here. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine, okay? Just fine. I'm a little sore. Maybe I pulled a muscle or something. Are you sure? For God's sake, Jenny, you think I have my dick shot on? Well, I better check, don't you think? Yeah, you better see for yourself, darling. Hmm. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Everything cool? Totally cool. Good. Gentlemen, we have some snapshots here today of a very special individual. His name is Eric Stoller. Charming, isn't he? Here he is on one of his better days. This man kills people for money, and someone has paid him to kill you. In air-to-air -air combat, he has no equal. His instrument of choice is the Scorpion Tactical Assault Helicopter. Don't let the size of this aircraft fool you. Because of its speed and agility, it is one of the most deadly things you will ever see in the sky. Put this personality into this machine, and if you blink up there, people, you are in the body bag. On the local scene, law enforcement agencies from three counties moved in unison today in a series of sweeping raids of suspected crack houses. The officers say that despite the 24 arrests made today and the large drug bust made last week, which netted over $500,000 in cash and cocaine, they are overwhelmed by the sheer massiveness of a problem that appears to have no end. this morning, boy? Two bowls, sir. Good. Good. All right, welcome to the bag. Thank you. You will be flying in total darkness, completely dependent on your sighting system. Do your homework last night? Yes, sir. Good. Lights out. It's very dark. Nice and easy. Try to keep the airplane level and the velocity vector centered. You're sliding left. Don't second guess the equipment. Go with your data, maintain your heading. What you see through the egg with your right eye should be coordinated with what you see on the video screen with your left eye. I want you to look right 70 degrees. Tell me what you see. Where are you taking us, Preston? Do not turn the airplane. Turn your head. Maintain your heading. Don't fail me, son. You've got us close enough to these rocks to count lizards. Maintain your heading. I do not want to smack that canyon wall if it's okay with you. Can't focus. I didn't know the aircraft was turning. That canyon wall is your line of sight, not the heading of your aircraft. Now come to a heading of 240. Drop us down to 300 feet. Come on. Come on. you got to cross-check your picture with your data. Keep your eye moving. Ah, oh, damn. Where's the cock surest guy jock I had last week? You're yawing, man. Step on a ball and trim it up. I'm working on it. Now level off, come to a heading of two, zero, zero. See that big rock out there? Do you see that big rock out there? 
Preston, do you see that big hawking airplane killing rock out there? Yes, goddammit, I see it! What the hell do you want me to do with it? <laughs> Take it easy, son. I want you to approach that chimney rock on exactly this heading until you are within what you think is 500 feet of it. Then cross left in front of it on heading 170, climbing out at 500 feet to clear the canyon rim. You clear on that? Yeah. I'll do it, Preston. Do it. Got a turn coming up. Make your turn. I am. Make your turn. I am. I'm doing it. Yeah, but you're doing it ugly, kid. Watch yourself. I'm turning. Turn. You're closing on it. I am. I'm turning. Climb. Climb. Take it up. Take it up. Take it up. I got it. I got it. No, sir. Negative. This flight is terminated. I have the controls, Mr. Preston. You're on probation until further notified. Go home, gotta take my little girl fishing. I had high hopes for you, soldier. It's like sex. Hardly anybody gets it perfect the first time. The bag is very intimidating. You heard? The whole base heard. I blew it. Jake Preston, super pilot, blew it. What happened? I couldn't keep the data in my right eye in focus. My left eye kept taking over and screwing things up for some reason. You ever shoot a gun as a kid? Play cowboys and Indians? Yeah. Shoot me. Why? Shoot me! What you're talking about is not a flying problem. It's an eye dominance problem. What do you mean? Eye dominance. We all have one eye that naturally takes over. We get used to using it without even knowing it. My dad always shot the way you just did. He was right-handed and left eye dominant. So if I was left eye dominant... You'd have a hard time accepting data from your right eye. But you can learn. Talk to Little. He can help you. <laughs> No, no, no. Remember, Mom said no more candy. Go get some of that bread you like. It's got the little swirls on it. Dad, I want to get something. What can I get? You can get the spaghetti. The curry kind? Yes. And barbecue sauce. Get a big thing of barbecue sauce. I need to speak with you. So I'll speak. I'm going to need your help to get through the bag. I don't think you've been fair with me. You've been pushing me from the beginning. Harder than you pushed anybody else. And you think I'm pushing you because I want you out? Maybe. If I wanted you out of here, you'd be gone. I'm pushing you because I think you could be one of the best. Hey, give her that bottle, will you? Stick it in her mouth. You fly conventional helicopters beautifully, Preston. Your instincts and reflexes are so damn good, you remind me of me 20 years ago. But the Apache is not a conventional helicopter, and instinct means diddly. Most complicated piece of equipment on that aircraft is your brain. Come on, there's nothing wrong with my brain. It's my eyes that are screwing up. I'm not going to quit on this. It's everything I worked for. I need you to help me out. You get one more shot at the bag. If you fail it, you're out. If you pass it, you're in. That's all there is to it. We don't make any exceptions in this outfit, ever. But you're not going to help me, are you? Well, that's real big of you little you want to tell me about it nothing to tell you've been up three times tonight honey there was a kid in the mission. One of the pilots. His name is Jake Preston. You mean old two by four? Give me a break, Jerry. It's no secret. The whole base knows about it. So what? He's good, this kid. You know, he's just a damn good pilot. So what's the problem? Problem is he's got an eye dominance thing. And he failed the bag. Well, you beat it. And so can he. And if he doesn't? And you wash them out. Damn, you're tough. 
Well, they were tough on you. I know enough about helicopters to make a lot of money in civilian life, Jenny, and I could have made you a rich woman. You're a patriot, Little, not a businessman. That's right. And I'm trying like hell at a shot to take the Apache air to air against some very serious enemies of the good old USA. I know you are, babe. But I'm not going to get the shot. It's going to go to guys who are younger, who are quicker, maybe even better, if I train them well enough to replace me. Come on. You've lost enough sleep over this already. Let's go to bed. Can I take my ice cream? Yeah. And I don't care if we aren't rich. I care about you. What was that thing that helped you? Are you up to some kind of silly joke, sir? Well, technically, this is bullshit, but when I couldn't pass the bag, it cured me. Of course, if we wanted to make you look like a total jackass, this would work just fine for that. I always uh, said you look good in red panties, Jake. <laughs> as long as you're having fun, Breaker. Oh, I am. All right, let's go. Try to maintain zero degrees of steering, Preston. I do not want to destroy any United States government property. Okay, we're coming up on 90 degrees of steering to the hard right. Now. Good. See how easy that is? It's all about control, and control is all in your mind. 90 degrees hard right now. Very good, very good. Now, we'll avoid that tank, Preston. Wouldn't this be better for you all blindfolded? Well done. I lost just a little bit of control there, but now everything's cool. Another right turn coming up now. 90 degrees to the right. Now! No, no. In the ditch! Yeah! That looks a lot better than the Uzi drive! <laughs> Preston, this operation will be a failure if we all die. The road's over here to the right. Oh, I found that road. Well done. Now, easing off on the throttle, smooth as a baby's butt. Very good. Well done. Couple more training flights. You're going to have this stub wire. It's got tight. panties on his head. Real good, one, sir. Get out of here. Good day for a drive, isn't it? <laughs> Go, buddy. Doing great, Jake. Today's your big day. It's your final shot at the back. Good luck, boy. Listen, sweetheart. You know we're meant to be together, so how about get me through it this time, okay? I am looking for a smooth ride, Mr. Preston. Smooth enough. Now show me the world, boy. How am I doing, sir? What do you think, big boy? Well, I'd say that I'm doing piss perfect. How do you feel? I don't feel anything. Good. Good. Let's go.
Army, the Department of Defense, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, VFW, the PTA, Commander-in-Chief, and above all of these, me. Congratulations, Mr. Preston. You have passed the bag. Pass the bag, thanks to you. Hey! Wanna help me celebrate? Yeah, I'd love to. Wow. You look amazing. This whole thing, I just threw it on as I was walking out the door. You still have her. Yeah. Some things should never change. I'll put your suitcase in the truck. What are you doing? I'm driving. You knew that, didn't you? Okay, Hot Rod. Put the pedal to the metal. Let's see what you got. Oh, whoa! Good! Nice! Whoa! Wouldn't it be terrific if we could get a house out here and live together? Why? There's nothing out here! then, honey, I'd have you all to myself. Oh, Jake. Why'd you change? Less to take off. Let's skip dinner. God, it is beautiful. You're beautiful. Uh, <laughs> patience, anticipation, food. You know, I learned something today. In the bag? Yeah, about dominance. Put your right hand out to the side. Close your left eye. Good, now, let's see, you put your left hand out to that side. Close your right eye. <laughs> Jake. Here there's a great place a couple miles up a dirt road where we can swim sans clothes. Jake, I gotta get back. No, today is Sangria Day. <laughs> I can't. I got a FLIR test flight with Scott in two hours. Well, you're just gonna have to get on the horn with the buzz man and tell him you have plans. You wanna make the mission, right? So if you had the same choice, a flight with Little or a picnic with me, what would you do? Do I always have to ask you first? Jake, if you ask me first, I'll go damn near anywhere. If you tell me, you go alone. Good thing about the army. I only have to take orders from my superiors. You drive a scout. 
I drive the Apache, and therefore I am your superior, darling. Now get in the car, and I'll drive you home. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry about the sangria. <laughs> hey, baby, don't you ever want me to win? No. Today, you are entering the final phase of aerial combat training will engage in air-to-air -air combat with your flight instructor. Your scores today will be the determining factor for selection to the Apache Task Force. Good luck up there today, troopers. Thanks for getting me through the bag. That's my job to get you through the bag. You're doing very well. I'm glad to see you. Just so you know, I will be kicking your ass today. <laughs> All right! Good, good. Night runner up. This is Rattler ready for a rich full day. Out. Roger. Proceed with Stinger to Sector Kilo. Over. Night runner up. This is Stinger. Roger out. Okay, boys. Let's go to our corners and come out fighting. These guys are serious, Jake. All right, it's high noon. Breaker. Yep. You like history? No. You better start liking it, because we're about to make it. <laughs> Bring them on. Jump ball, kids. Let's see who comes down with it. You want position? You got position. Shit, that kid's good. Come on, come on, I can't lock him. Come on, we gotta get around. He's got position on us. Not bad flying for a couple old timers. Old timers, my ass. Those guys can fly, man. Now, Breaker. Let's get him. Get me closer, Jake. I got locked. Shit, Brad, he's got a lock on us. Not for long. Come on, come on, I can't lock him. Look alive, Ryze. Good lie, boys. Try again. Hang on here, Rice man. Let's see if we can keep up with this. Where'd they go? Where is he, Breaker? I don't know. Clever, Chief. Come on, Grandpa, let's do it. Okay, get ready for that little pair of wood, Rice. Done deal. We're gonna park it right here. I lost him, Jake. He's taking the vertical, going over the top. Damn, that was a sweet move. Come on, let's get him. He's gonna pop right through that notch. That old snake's hiding in a hole. He wants vertical? I'll give him vertical with a twist. <laughs> Look what we found. Hostile of bye bye, Chief. Nose down, Breaker. I got locked! No! This is gone! Shit. He's toast. That's great flying, man. Rattler, they just notified your next of kin. I got your next of kin. Well done, boys. Very well done. Let's go to the house, get some supper. <laughs> Good flying, Preston. Intelligence reports the cartel offensive is set to launch. All the major players are there, but we do not know for how long. The DEA mustn't let this opportunity slip through their fingers. How much time do we have, sir? We have to move immediately. We have less than 24 hours to eliminate this threat. Any word on Stoller? He's there, making sure that we don't get near him. 
Good morning, troopers. Let's do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Task force, attention! At ease, listen up. In less than 24 hours, you'll be asked to use what you've learned here. Our mission is to fly support for a DEA operation of critical importance. Operation Firebird. We launch immediately. We move out tomorrow morning. We're a staging area in South America. Once we're on the ground down there, you get a full background briefing and your operations order. What I can tell you now, folks, is that we will be going air to air against a Scorpion attack helicopter and its backup. Now, there'll be officials on hand down there to arrest cartel leaders. Our job is to make damn sure they get that chance. That's all. Carry on. Let's get hot. Yeah. Congratulations, Jake. Thank you, Colonel. OK. All right. Good luck. Right, Jake. Brad, I've been reviewing the gun camera tapes from your training flights. Every man has got his place of maximum effect. Brad Littles is with this Apache task force flying the mission. You're my flight leader, Brad. I knew that. I want to talk to you before... And you, my friend, are going to have to accept it. My friend! The cartel has been amassing heavy arms and military personnel for an attack on a friendly government. And we must stop them. Every operation that the DEA and our South American allies has mounted has been blown away by Eric Stoller. We believe they are about to airlift some of the major figures in the cartel under Stoller's cover. The local government is sick and tired of having their army chewed up by this guy in the air. Now they've asked for your help. They're counting on it. Colonel? All right, people. On your feet. Get some sleep. Sleep well? Hell no. 
What do you think? I think it all depends on things we don't know right now. You can train all you want. You can know you're capable. But when it comes time to let it rip, you begin to wonder what you're really going to do, whether you're going to take it up, bring it down, ever going to see an orange again. Thanks for a long night. Huh? That's a long night that's been around for 100,000 years, kid, full of men waiting to go into battle. You know, I think every one of them's been walking and talking all night long. Huh? Yeah. You got chops you hadn't even begun to dream of yet, kid. Just relax. Your instincts and your training will take over. Count on it. You had a brilliant teacher. You know, I've been pretty arrogant with you. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm vain and I know I'm great, but you're definitely the best. No, you're better. Can't learn anymore. You can. Every time we went up together, I kept thinking, damn, that kid he is good. How'd he figure that one out? You're a natural. <laughs> you're a natural. You got a lot of talent. How about that rollout you did during the fly-off? Man, I had you dead. Nobody but you could have done that. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I'm not a genius. You know, I joined the Army for the same reason you did. And that's to kick ass. Just like in the old war movies. You know, be a hero. That's what I'm looking for in you. First-class, all-American hero with his heart and brain wired together, cooking full tilt boogie for freedom and justice. Okay? It's the oldest, corniest story in the whole world. But I got this could be a happy day. Shotgun for the Blackhawks, over. Guthrie, this is flight leader. You have two very bad boys up here looking for something to do. Locate ground radar. Check all canyon rims. When you find it, let us know. We'll blow it up. I don't want these sons of bitches knowing where we're at. Roger, Rattler. Ripples hunting. Found it. Sight unmanned. Proceed to 3708. Roger that. We're on the way. Stellar's out there. I can smell them. Go find them, kid. Okay, we're coming up on the coordinates. Looking high, looking low. Find me a bunch of high-tech shit on the rim of that canyon. All right, Rise Man. I see it, Grandpa. Locking into missiles. Make that damn thing go away, son. Good shooting, Rice Man. Okay, they're working without radar now. What's happening, Guthrie? There it is. What's happening, Guthrie? Talk to me, talk to me. Rebels located enemy airstrip. Evacuation underway. Request fire support. I've got a fast mover bogey at heading 070. This area is heavily armed, boys. Apache's rolling in hot. 
That's your singer. Wait a minute, I'm picking up something else. It's Dollar! Billy, listen to me. Keep moving and stay close to the rocks. Don't give him a target. Just keep moving. I'm not gonna make it! Baby, don't panic. If you keep moving, you can't walk on. I'm on my way. Oh, Jake, save my ass. You're not touching her, you filthy piece of shit. Damn it! Jake, don't let it get away! Stinger, this is Rattler. Have you engaged, over? We're on him, Rattler. All right, here we come. Grab your ass, right? I'm gonna get you closer, buddy, but you gotta nail him. Miss! Stay on him. Oh, shit! He's getting away! Damn, he's fast. Solid gold. What goes on, Guthrie? Looking. Unmasking to take a peek. There's another fast mover at your one o'clock. Oh, they got a whole Air Force down here now? It's Stola! Get out of there! Shit, he's on our six! Hang on, Rice. He's tracking little. I'm coming around. Goddamn, we're gonna get shot at. Brace yourself, Rice, man. Brace yourself. Now, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Calling my mother calls me Calvin. I am your mother now, Calvin. Stinger! He's got his nose down on us again! 
Ben! Not for long. This one looks okay. Go to the F-Doors, confirm it, and get the grip stock in the BCU. What? A little cigar box looking thing with a pistol grip on it, a little round thing, looks like a coffee can. You got 20 seconds, man. <laughs> Screw that coffee can inside of that cigar box. Good, go pop three latches on that missile, bring it over here. Guthrie, turn around. I got him in my sight, but I'm hearing a noise. Shoot him in the ass. Snort that sucker. We got it. are mopping up Firebird now. They've arrested all cartel members and have the area under control. Once you took out Stoller and their air support, it was over. Come on all. Where's the meat wagon? Just up the hill, sir! Don't drop me. No, sir! Oh! 
Christ! If you drop me, it'll be the end of life as you've come to know it in a U.S. Army trooper. Sir! Did you kill him? Yeah. Yeah, I killed him. Oh. Good, son. Well done. Well done! You look like a first-class hero, Chief! You two, son. You both do. First-class All-American! Well, you did it. We did it. Okay. We did it. <laughs> I'm not gonna argue. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Since when? I'll give you a ride home. Great. I'll drive. No, I'm gonna drive. No, I'll drive. Jake, it's my helicopter. I'll drive. No, 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 no. I drive. Fine.